Strachtja, Dorishi, and uh, welcome back to our Let's Play of Rise of Nations. And I've built up a civilization uh, since I've been gone in Libya to uh, commence an attack of the Egyptians. I like how right now Libya is kind of split. Like, uh, where on what the Egyptian side should be, we're closer to Egypt, whereas. Uh, the Egyptians are closer to something that's not Egypt. But yeah, so we've been fighting back and forth. Had a couple a couple skirmishes. But we're doing okay. I think we might be able to knock them out here with this blow. Okay. Oh no, counter attack. The camel raiders. Oh my god, they got quite an army. Well, so much for knocking them out with that blow. I'm uh, retreating my siege equipment out of there as fast as I can. Hopefully be able to save some of it. And I regroup over here. So it looks like a fierce battle will be waged. Over territorial control. Doesn't look like we were quite able to knock them out as swiftly as I would have hoped. All they have are like friggin' archers. I think though, this is like the definition of a border skirmish, like right here. This is exactly what one might have in mind. Oh no. Alexander's still alive. Well, as you can see now, the momentum's in our favor. push you into enemy territory. So I just realized the other day that my wedding is only, um, well it's now less than one month away, which is just, it's, uh, it's coming up so fast. It's, it's crazy to think about. I can't believe how fast uh, time has been flying. You know, all of 2014 thus far has just seemed like a complete total blur.
I think it's just because, uh, you know, when you work full time, it's just there's never enough time to accomplish everything I want to in a day. You know, it's honestly, it's like, a, it's a little bit depressing, you know, not to be able to. Have the, the amount of time I used to to do more what I think are personally fulfilling tasks. But it's good to be making pretty decent money. That's that. That's the part I can't uh, complain about. That's kind of the way it works, you know. You're very lucky if you can have both time and money. Usually, uh, one always comes at the expense of the other. very fortunate because they decided that they were going to move their capital to a place where I could uh, immediately I get to it much easier and exploit it. I won't have to deal with their fortifications near Tripoli. I had my ships constantly uh, raiding the coastline to make sure that no shenanigans happened. So I don't think there's anything Pharaoh Nectanebo the second can do right now. You know, I, I started listening to like uh, history lectures on ancient Egypt. I don't know if I talked about this. It's part of my well, I think I've talked before that I really like audiobooks. Uh, again, it's the whole you know do with that idea of time it's that I always enjoyed reading. But now I have less time to do it than ever. So audiobooks are a very good compromise that I can, you know, let's do an audiobook while I'm doing something else. And I, uh, been listening to a, I was listening to a history, uh, lecture series on ancient Egypt and, and learned a lot about ancient Egypt that I didn't know. Uh, and one thing about ancient Egypt is that, uh, their, the pharaoh's names and, and generally, uh, Egyptian names, they're usually like sentences and they mean something. They're not just like names like my name, you know, Spencer doesn't doesn't mean anything. It's it's just a name. But uh phrases like Otep, like I always remember in the the mummy like the the enemy was Imhotep. But uh the phrase Otep means to be pleased. So they'll often name like uh Horse Otep, which is you know the god the god horse is pleased and do that too you know, praise the gods hooray
Now, I certainly did this in the complete wrong order. I'm not following Alexander at all. Well, let's use a card here. Hmm, interesting. Egypt is still not attack when this card is held. So we may as, may as well use them to invade Egypt. I mean, I guess it would make sense, as he would go on to rule Egypt after. The Battle of the Nile! You have encountered scant resistance at the mouth of the Nile. You were able to establish several bases, but Egypt has recently won its independence back from Persia. The Egyptians are likely to give it up without a good fight. Well, this is exactly like, uh, in Napoleon. There's Ptolemy. Well, let's see if I can take Giza away fairly quickly. Nice thing though is at least we've got starting off plenty of cities. The only thing is that we're not gonna have enough uh mines, really. Really? I only get three citizens on this mine? <sighs> Alright, I think we can attack now. And take away the pyramids. Is, uh, not having enough metal is definitely going to be a change of pace. Because it's usually I've got too much metal, so much that I never know what to do with it. What does the pyramids do? Increases commerce limit, increases your city limit, increases your food gathering rate. just fall back and I'm gonna let uh do I have siege works? No I don't. I should build some catapults.
we've got a lot of idle peasants. fall back. really isn't looking good. See if I can push our borders back a little bit and gain some more mines. Okay, well, we forced them back for now.
university here. Shit. Well, I'll just build it in the next city over. for this city a smelter. I need to keep provoking them into attacking me, so I can't let them build up too much of a, an, an army, which they can use to try and beat me. Holy crap. Oh no, I need some cavalry. Use the militia, which uh, won't be, which won't end well for us. What do they have? Oh fuck! Pushing me back. Well, this is certainly not ending well for the charge of the Light Brigade. By Light Brigade, I mean my militia. Actually, we might just force them back. Somehow, some way, we might do it.
just a supply wagon, something awful. Sorry about that. Um. gonna be a slow grueling trek and it's going to be a complete and utter bloodbath I think I might have the, uh... Wherewithal to push. So I, I gotta stop this guy somehow or he's gonna completely overwhelm me. bloody battle of attrition. But at least in the north I'm gaining the upper hand. I think I might have, unless he's hiding some secret army somewhere, I might be able to push in and take Giza. Slowly but surely wear it down. <laughs> 